वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सेफ्टी गाइडलाइंस माय नेम इज़ फहीम आजम एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई शैल कंडक्ट एन अवेयरनेस सेशन ऑन स्मोक आर यू कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट दिस पिक्चर वेदर इट इज़ ए फॉग आर हेज वेल यस इट इज़ एन इंटेंसिफाइड बाय स्मोक and other atmospheric pollutants the contents for this video are what is smog difference between fog and smog signs of smog hazards and their preventive measures dear viewers For the rest of my video my partner will take you and explain the above mentioned bullets Now I'll be explaining what is smog In simple words smog is air pollution that reduces visibility The term smog was first used in the early 1900s to describe a mixture of smoke and fog The smoke usually comes from burning of coal waste etc Smog was common in industrial areas and remains a familiar sight in urban areas today Man-made smog is derived from coal combustion emissions vehicular emissions industrial emissions forest and agricultural fires and photochemical reactions of these emissions what is the difference between fog and smog fog is caused by water droplets in the air whereas smog is made up of smoke and fog The second difference is fog reduces the visibility but breathing in fog causes no harm. On the other hand, breathing in smog can cause eye irritation, asthma and decreases lungs breathing capacity. What are the symptoms of smog? Firstly, I will explain the short-term symptoms. Firstly, uh, eye irritation. Secondly, wheezing or difficulty in breathing. Third is irritation or inflammation of the respiratory tract like coughing. Fourth is shortness of breath especially during physical activity. Smoke can also cause some long-term symptoms. like the long term health effects due to air pollution or smog include heart diseases lung cancer respiratory diseases such as emphysema asthma bronchitis and copd which means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease air pollution can also cause long term damage to people's nerves brain kidneys liver and other organs some scientists suspect air pollutants cause birth defects Now what are the hazards of smog? Smog is hazardous to one's health. It is rapidly increasing a number of difficulties related to health and as well as raising worries about the impacts on public health. Smog impairs visibility on roads by up to 20 to 25 meters resulting in traffic accidents and flight cancellations. The inhalation of primary and secondary smog pollutants causes a variety of ailments including respiratory problems, cardiovascular malfunction, neurological disorders, cancer and early mortality. Now I'll be sharing some preventive measures of smog. Some of the basic preventive measures are face mask, goggles, intake of nutrients 
reducing outdoor activities and smoking cessation. Now I'll be discussing all these preventive measures one by one. The first preventive measure is to use a face mask. Face masks are used to decrease the contact with polluted air and it filters the air we inhale. A face mask helps in reducing the contact but it mainly depends on the pollutant type and method of use. Second preventive measure is to use goggles. Protective goggles can be used to prevent our eyes from different harmful elements like sun rays, excessive heat, polluted air, fumes that can cause irritation to the eyes, etc. The third preventive measure is to keep a track of your intake of nutrients. Healthy nutrition intake plays a vital role in the maintenance of respiratory health. Different nutrients are present in fruits and vegetables such as antioxidant vitamins like vitamin E, C, etc. These antioxidant vitamins have defensive influence on different processes that are involved in the ailments of lungs like oxidative and inflammatory mechanism. This defensive process also helps in preventing the ne negative consequences due to polluted air. Nutrients protect us against the harmful effects of polluted air. Various nutrients are essential because they are involved in many vital processes of our body like metabolism of cell, maintenance of immune system, etc. We can intake nutrients via food like fruits and vegetables or from medicines like multivitamin tablets, capsules or gummies as we can see in the picture. The fourth way to be safe from smog is to minimize our outdoor activities. By reducing the time spent outside, and decreasing the physical exertion in outdoor events, people can decrease their contact with polluted air. Even though the polluted air gets inside home and other indoor places, but still the levels of indoor pollution is less as compared to outdoor environment. The deposition of the air pollutants in respiratory tract decreases when the physical exertion is decreased because it causes lowering of the respiratory ventilation. The quantity of polluted particles that reaches the respiratory tract reduces when breathing through nose is done at reduced levels of physical exertion. Last but not the least is smoking cessation. One of the major causes of COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is smoking and the only useful remedy for preventing or decreasing the progression of COPD is smoking cessation. The cessation of smoking helps in the betterment of respiratory symptoms, sensitivity of bronchi and helps to avoid the deterioration of function of lungs and will also help in reducing the pollution of air. So as we can see in the picture, it's better to quit smoking as quick as possible. Thank you for watching my video. Please follow the advice that has been described in this video to stay healthy and strong during smog. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notifications regarding further videos. Like, comment and share my videos. See you in the upcoming video. Till then, have a good time. Bye.